Hello, this is Kelly from Fruit Pursuit, and today we're working on a retreat make and take. So basically, I'm having a retreat coming up in September, and I'm going to have to make eight make and takes to have for the different sessions at the retreat. And I decided it would be kind of fun to do all of the the make and takes on camera. So if you're attending, then you can watch them ahead of time and, or you could follow along and do these projects on the weekend of the retreat or whenever, because that's, it's a YouTube video and it's out there forever. All right, so now session number one, that's what this one is, is going to be a master board. And the reason I picked it is because master boards and collage are my favorite trick to getting me into that creative mode get my mojo back so you know i'm i'm just thinking to myself these people we're all going to be like traveling and packing and using all of our left brain stuff and then we get there and then we need to get into creative mode right brain creative all kinds of that good stuff Yes, I did say creative twice. Um, <laughs> so this is, like I said, my favorite way to get in the groove. And we're gonna use as our base, these ledger sheets. So everyone will get two of those. You can make two collage uh, boards. You could do one big one, gluing it together, or you could do two individual ones. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna do two individual ones because that's just how I'm, uh, that's what I'm doing at my party today. And then everyone is going to get these scans that I did of some of my antique invoices. So there's gonna be five of them. Uh, they are pretty cool looking and that's just gonna be our master board base. It's gonna be a really neutral master board. So that's all good and dandy. This one is the mistake I made. So you'll be getting one that, if you're attending the retreat, that looks like this but uh, mine was a little a little hacky. So that's all right, I can use that. Uh, so these are all the digitals that I, I printed that are ready to distribute into the little make and takes. And uh, these do have little borders on them. So I'm gonna kind of use that to my advantage. And I don't really need scissors. I need a tearing ruler. So. This is my, maybe a good way to think about what you need to take to the retreat as well. So I'm just gonna hack this, this, these papers up. Now, when you're making a master board, uh, the bigger the pieces, the faster it goes. And making them smaller doesn't, doesn't always yield uh, anything you know a, a, a lot better so plus i have a few tricks for making it kind of add a little something something without i'm gonna do it here and then maybe like that so those are my pieces i think that's pretty good because that's almost like two separate pieces anyway well I'm just going for it. No messing around. So this one didn't end up with any of the white border on it. I don't know how I managed that. So we're just gonna start gluing. And go for it. Now this might be a bit big of a piece, but maybe not. I don't know. It's just one of those things. I'm loving my new printer that I can print all these digitals out. So it's pretty great. I'm not going to use my art glitter glue. I like glue sticks for collages. I'm, I'm pretty into it. Check out this. This one's probably my favorite one ever. It's the Great East India Tea Company. It's an invoice from there. How cool is that? And this one just had all this. Uh, I might have to tear this this edge off of there. It's okay though. I hope you don't mind that tearing noise because to be honest with you, it kind of bugs me. It does. It bugs me. 
Okay, but we ha we have to do it today. That's all there is to it. And we'll just do a little something, something. Look at this worm candy. Kills worms. I I don't like worms. <laughs> I don't I don't ever want to get worms. No. This piece is kind of cool. I must want to take that off, but no, I'm not going to. Don't do it. Okay. See, now this piece, I could get away with it being so big. So this is what I was going to tell you with this edge. Just, just uh, hang it over the edge. Yeah, that's, that's my idea. I know, it wasn't that exciting, but it, it's still a good idea to not have to worry about uh cutting trimming those edges until the end which some which usually we have to do anyway when we're doing a master board so you know just i think it kind of might save us a step yeah you can use your your bone folder so far the tools for this are glue stick tearing ruler bone folder and then maybe at the end You'll need a scissors or a paper cutter. Mm -hmm. Yep. See, this one is technically... Um, okay, we'll do it this way. This is the way we're going to do it. Oh, had a little... So that one's going to hang over to trim off. Good, good, good. Make sure you get it all the way over. All right, this one's a fun color. It's like this kind of fun brown, brown situation. These were like glued onto this brown paper. They're they're kind of like ledgers, but they're they're just brown paper. And uh, yeah, so that's the way that was. could do it this and then cover that all up right like that because because we can yeah so that's what happens to glue from the that right there that big ugly brown spot that that's what happens to glue in the um from the 18 uh 69 no 66 oh that's really old that was a really old one. I'm going to need something. It's fun. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe ooh, this piece right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to trim that edge. Though. Can't get away with it. All right. So as little as possible. Didn't tear that very good, but it's okay. And then how much should we, we're gonna skip the purple line. I hope that works. Does that work? Yes. yes, yes, yes. It works, no worries. I discovered uh, audio books on YouTube. Didn't know that was a thing. Where's my scissors? Maybe some scissors, you might need a scissors of like the old like uh old who who is that um uh, i want to say edith wharton she wrote oh pioneers i think we can go all the way to the edge on that and uh anyway is that the right i feel like that's wrong but i'm having a brain clicker click uh and yeah, so, oh, that's kind of a fun piece there. So yeah, pretty cool. And I'm, I'm, that's my goal to listen. To, I'd like to read it, but let's be honest. I, I hardly ever read anymore. I used to be a readaholic and now, okay, that, that was what I did with almost all my time when I was young. 
especially in grade school. Then in middle school, I kind of flipped over to, oh, that won't work. I flipped over to, this is like not very good measuring on my part. Um, too narrow. This might work though. actually keep how much of that do I can I can I actually keep right to about there we'll see we'll see about my my cutting skills do, do, do. So yeah, just a little short, but I don't think we worry about that. And then we cover up our, our white edge right there. Yeah, it's all good. And then I'll just trim the edge of it. No problem. But I do want this to all match up. And then I need some skinny, skinny minis. Buy cash, $140. We'll do the we'll do the ruler. Um wait, hold on. This way first. And then that way. Oh come on. Oh I my tearing skills are oh, not so great today. So make sure to check out if you're interested. You are in shooting distance from shooting distance from from Wisconsin. You'd like to go? Might be just the thing. And you you're gonna get all these like make and takes and stuff from my shop. I'm I'm thinking if you were to try and buy the stuff that I'm giving to the attendees, it it would. It would, I'm sure, be between sixty and a hundred dollars worth of worth of goodies and papers and antique papers and junk journal supplies, mostly papers. Look at that! That's a good one. This is that's a good one. That's nice. Okay, we got one done. That was quick. Super duper quick. Now this I could put right up in this corner. And then I could trim that off. So I'm going to do that. That'll be really easy. I don't know why this... You wouldn't think that this would... Because it's just so straightforward. But every time it gets my creative juices flowing. I, I've lost my mojo. These days I don't lose my mojo that often. Because I'm really into... I mean, most of the stuff I do is creative. I don't, I don't have to switch gears to left brain very often, so it's pretty, it's pretty nice for that. Now let me think here. That I think is the same kind of page. This I could put here, maybe. Mm -hmm. We're doing it. And this, this ledger paper has holes in it. That's okay. Oh my gosh. The, this weekend, I enlisted the help of my, uh, my husband's nephew, which I guess is my nephew-in-law. I know you don't really call them nephews-in-laws, but anyway, he, uh, to help me 
take care of a chicken that was very ill. So that was not not very fun, but we had to do it. The other chickens were basically doing a slow job of killing that chicken. So sometimes those hens can be kind of mean to each other. So anyway, we got that done and buried it. And it was kind of, mm, not that, kind of crazy, but we got it done. And I got to experience the thing where the chicken doesn't really, doesn't really, I don't know, like, Wait, which one? This one. Doesn't see it like it's dead, but it's still running around situation. Oh yeah, yeah. That's creepy. Yeah, that was a decent tear. So this one. I wonder if I could put that whole piece right there. I probably could. I have to get rid of this end. I'm probably not going to use it all the way up, but part of the way. And not this side, but this side I'm just going to trim it. I'm just going to trim it. So now there's only three chickens. And the raccoons, I, I mean, it's not much we can do about it. They're, they're really nice chickens, so they don't they don't argue with the raccoons when the raccoons still they steal the eggs. If the if they try to defend the eggs, then then the raccoons would just you know, like kill them. That's basically what they do if you, they try to defend their eggs. So it's kind of good they don't because then the raccoons just come in and take the eggs and are on their way. It's my it's my in laws and. My mother-in-law hasn't been feeling very good, and she doesn't want to lock the chickens uh, up all the time, and she can't always get back to do it at night. So she's like 76 and not feeling well. So uh, we're feeding the raccoons right now for a while, but they don't take all of them. <laughs> so that's nice of them. <laughs> oh. What can you do? So we'll, it's fine. We'll just, I, I don't know if I want, how much of this? Mm, can't decide. I just can't decide. Just, how about to here? To there. And then what? Then what? I know I want it kind of staggered, but if I stagger it too much, then it's going to look funky. Or it's going to look funky if I don't stagger them. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and here I'm like, I don't know why. I know why I'm doing that because I've been have, uh, like it, kind of crafting out and about when I didn't have my tearing ruler or my scissors. <laughs> So, so I just, you know, use it the, all you need is some paper and be able to fold it and fold it and tear it. And then you're good. That's how I've been doing it. <laughs> when you're desperate to craft, right? Apparently I'm desperate for crafting. I don't know. I always thought, I wish I could craft all the time and now I do. <laughs> I do craft all the time. Very many hours a week. Probably 40 or 50 hours a week. Maybe I should be embarrassed about that. I don't know. But some people are kind of shocked. Like, how do you do that? Well, I just, I'm pretty, like, I don't know. Almost like obsessive, you know? And I, I don't do a lot of other things. You know, that's what I do in my free time. You're supposed to clean the house? Forget it. I don't want to clean the house. <laughs> That's not happening today. All right, this is coming off too because. Oh dear. Now, this, see, this is when I start getting picky pants. It's 
so much faster if you just do it in big chunks, but sometimes I'm just not capable of that. <laughs> I'm just not. It's too difficult. I don't think I've got some any of this. Well, obviously I don't because I didn't tear it. Oh, silly girl. Maybe all I need is like this piece. Just the shoes, ma'am. Just the shoes. Yeah, like that. Yeah. There. I'm going to trim that side anyway, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we had a little get-together at my in-law's house over the weekend, and they had some friends coming in that had moved to Australia and opened up a, a vineyard. So they own a vineyard in uh, Australia. So there you go. It's like weird, random. <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> ah. Oh, it works. It works. Doesn't matter. All right, now I've got all the skinny side stuff. I, I, I want to use this blue in here. Probably use this piece. Let's see if it works. Oh, because I've got to do right to there. Oh, that's... I'll just do it to here. Okay, that's what I'm doing. This whole piece is going on there. You're going down. Do -do 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 -do. Now that's the most I can sing of that song. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble with the YouTube people. For music music stuff. Not you. <laughs> That's how you get rid of that. Not you. Fling. That one? I think it needs some of this. I want what, that stuff that's right in the middle. <laughs> right in the middle? Why you gotta be so difficult? I don't know. That's what I want, though. That's what I want. I don't want to cover up the shoes. Can't do that. My goodness. Now you're just getting ridiculous. So if I do it like this, right to there, and then I'll cut that off. Okay. We got it figured out. We're good. Okay. And now I I have to tell you the trick I was talking Another. I don't know if I told you any other tricks, but anyway, so there's the paper out of the way. Here's, here's our master board. Let's trim it off on the edge. Make sure. Trimmy, trimmy there. Looks like I have trimming on every side. Uh, so sometimes your, your master board ends up looking boxy or your pieces are a little bit too big if you were to say break them down into smaller pieces then they might not look then it will just end up being like a little scrap that doesn't have any uh, different it doesn't have multiple pieces of paper and look like a collage essentially so there's a trick which is, okay, so like if I were to cut a little piece here, that's that's one piece. And it's not very, you know, if it ends up being like right here, that's not much. So I have a trick. And you could use washi tape for this. Like if you have maybe some book page washi tape that's kind of light colored. All mine's pretty dark right now. And I'm not too crazy about using this right now. I don't have... I'm running low on my favorite uh, book page washi tape, and I didn't put it back in its spot, so there's that problem. Oh, see if any of these would work. Not really. Um, this one kind of, maybe that one. We'll try this one. But you could also use some of this. In fact, let me do that because. Otherwise, we're breaking the rules, right? 
We don't need that. Okay. Where is the, okay, we'll do it this way. Gentle. And then we take a little strip of this. See, we've got this strip and then we just, we just put it right across there. And then we're gonna have collage touching every single part. See that cool trick? I'll put it over the spot. There we go. So you see another spot where you think this is going to happen. This is going to happen. Now I, I know I had some little scrapples over here. So like maybe that right there. Yes. That's how we want that. And then you just add a couple random pieces in the middle that uh, make sure you've got a little collage action going on. Like that right there. I don't really want to block any of that. No, I don't want that. I love this one. I'm going to ink this just a little. Oh, I did it the back. I did it the wrong way. It's all right. We'll see. This one's pretty good, though. I don't really want to touch. I love that the East India Company. So I'm just gonna let it be. I know I'm having a little trouble messing with this one, but this one turned out quite nice. Also, I really like it, and I really like the little pieces, the strips. That just adds a little nice something something in there. Okay, now we get to the fun part, the part where we cut it, we cut them apart. Oh, also, the reason I use ledger paper on the back is so that when I cut these into pieces and you have like a tag or something, you've got an automatic writing space on the back. The front for lovely uh, where's my glue cap? Hmm. Oh, it's under here somewhere. There it is. I don't want that to dry out. Gotta take care of these stuff. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Look low. We're cutting it up. Let me make these a little bigger. I don't know, it's like postcard size, kind of. Small postcard. That's all right. Oh, let go. So here's one. Very cool. Here's one. Here's one. These are nice. These are awesome. I'm loving them. I think I'm just going to do like two tag shapes. Gosh, those look nice. Gosh, they look nice. And now I'm going to mix them up with my... So then, even if you do this, you're, you'd are you still have enough for probably one more uh, master board. So those, you, the, whoever comes, will still get to keep those. And here we go. Loop -de -loop. I know I'm going to be weird about this because I, I want to keep that part. It's not like I don't have another copy. This is a copy, so I know I'm being weird about it, but that's just how it's going to be today. <laughs> I'm just going to be weird about it. There, now I've got it. <laughs> and this can be a little journal card tag, whatever. Now we'll figure out what we're going to do with this one. 
this book. Looks good. It feels like it's crooked or something. Yeah, I don't, I, I needed to cut this edge off and I didn't. Oh, a little more. There we go. Now, we'll do, we'll do it like this. I've got all these nice pieces. Look at them. Awesome. I forgot. That's too big. That's too big. What have you done? I think I want this. There. No, no, you're a little extra, extra. Read all about it. I'll do a mini tag, right? Yeah, there you go. So these are the little lovelies that we have. with. Aren't those cute? Okay, now let's just play. Let's just play. Let's see. So the idea at the retreat is going to be that they're going to save them for later to play with, you know, to add things to later that we make. But I'm just going to dig through my clusters and see, you know, what, what might, what strikes my fancy. And, and these I think are gonna strike my fancy. Oh, look at that. Oh, these look really cool. Oh my gosh. I know you're not gonna be able to put anything on there. No, not you. Um, yep, it's gonna take me forever to decide. That's true. I kinda like that on there. But do I like this one? Kind of. What about this one? That's the one right there. That's it. That's the one. Beautiful. Okay, now what? <laughs> the rest of one, I won't be so. Oh, not you. Oh, goodness. This is like probably going to be a tag, so. Ooh, I like these. These look so good with these. I can't hardly believe it. Oh, James. James Gibbs. I didn't want to cover up his name. Like I like I don't have enough copies of his name. There we go. Just stay right there. We're going down. They all look good. Like this. Ooh, nice. Look at those. These are adorable. But when we do this, it's we're not gonna have the clusters yet. No, we'll we'll make something, some clusters of some sort. These all look so good. I should just glue them down. They look great. And then you flip them over, and ta-da! You've got writing area. You know I'm gonna want to ink those up and play, play, play. But I think we're good for now. <laughs> oh, these turned out really neat. All right. Well, if you're interested in attending the retreat, the link is in the description below. And as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.